Section 9.1, example 11. So let's solve the following homogeneous system. Um, what does this word homogeneous mean? It means that the right side is equal to zero. And so these have a special property. Um, zero, zero, zero is always a solution. So you're guaranteed a solution. So you'll never have no solution. No solution is not possible. And that's because zero plus zero plus zero is zero. So regardless of coefficients, I can always plug in zero, zero, zero. So you'll either have one solution, which will be zero, 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 or you'll have the infinite case. And zero, zero, zero just happens to be one of those solutions. So let's go ahead and practice that triangle method. So we have x plus y plus z is my equation one. 5x minus 2y plus 2z equals 0, and then 8x plus y plus 5z equals 0. And we're going to try to make that triangle. So I'm going to eliminate x's first. So let's see. In equation 2, 5x minus 2y plus 2z equals 0. I'm going to subtract the first equation times 5. So negative 5, so that things eliminate. So we'll do e2 minus 5e1. So negative 5 times x minus 5x, negative 5y, negative 5z, and then equals 0. And the x's eliminate. So we get negative 7y minus 3z equals 0. So e1 is x plus y plus z is 0, and my new equation 2 is 7y minus 3z equals 0. And then let's find a new e3. So e3, 8x plus y plus 5z equals 0. And I'm going to, again, subtract the first one times 8 this time so that the x's eliminate. So minus 8x, minus 8y, minus 8z equals 0. And you'll see the x eliminate. And we get minus 7y, minus 3z equals 0 for my new e3. And we have a system, almost a triangle. We just have to do a little bit more eliminating. So we need to eliminate y in e3. So my new system, I'm not changing the first two. So x plus y plus z is 0. Minus 7y minus 3z equals 0. But I'm going to try to change that last one. So we have minus 7y minus 3z is 0 for e3. And I'll just subtract e2. So opposite signs, plus 7y plus 3z equals 0. And you'll notice the y eliminates. And we get 0z is 0 for my new C3, E3. And now we have a triangle. The whole goal is to get that triangle. All right, so what does this mean? 0z equals 0 means z can be anything. It means z is arbitrary. And we call it alpha for arbitrary. Basically, we can plug in any number and it will work. But then y and x will have a relationship with z. So we'll say negative 7y minus 3z equals 0. So we'll solve for y. So minus 7y equals 3z. So y is negative 3 over 7z. Or we just recalled z alpha. So negative 3 over 7 times alpha. So whatever z is, we multiply it by negative 3 sevenths to find y. And then we'll solve for x. So x plus y plus z equals 0, and we'll solve for x. So x equals minus y minus z. And then we'll just plug in alpha and then negative 3 sevenths alpha. So negative times negative 3 sevenths alpha is y minus alpha. 
So we get 3 7 alpha minus alpha, which would give me 3 7 minus 7 7 both alpha, so negative 4 7 alpha. And so those, my solution will be x, y, z, which will be negative 4 7 alpha, negative 3 7 times alpha, and then alpha. So this is what the arbitrary solutions look like. Um, so there's infinite solutions, but they have to fit this pattern. So 0, 0, 0 is a solution, but not the only solution. Um, let's say instead alpha was 1. So that means negative 4 sevenths times 1, negative 3 sevenths times 1, and then 1 is a solution. Right, and we could keep going. We could plug in 2. We could plug in 3. Um, let's plug in 7 because that's an easy choice. So what if alpha is 7? We get negative 4 because the 7s cancel out. We get negative 3 and we get 7. So this is a solution. So this is a way of indicating all possible solutions. All right, let's try one more. So let's solve the following system. It's a little tricky because there's only two equations. But we have x plus 2y minus 4z equals 6, and we have 5x minus y plus 2z equals 3. So since I don't have three equations, I'm just going to try um, regular elimination because I can't make a triangle. Because um, there's no third equation. So I think the y's look easy to eliminate because they're opposite signs already. So we'll do x plus 2y minus 4z equals 6, and I'll go ahead and multiply the second equation by 2 to make the y's eliminate. So 10x minus 2y plus 4z equals negative 6, and the y's should cancel out. It looks like the z's happen to cancel out as well, just a coincidence. And we get 11x equals 0. So x is 0. So we found one solution. Let's plug in 0 for x and then see if we can find y and z. So we get 0 plus 2y minus 4z equals 6. And that's again because we know x is 0. And then we get 0 minus y plus 2z equals negative 3. So 2y minus 4z equals 6, and then minus y plus 2z equals negative 3. So let's see if we can do some more elimination with just two variables. So a little bit easier to solve because we only have two variables now. x is 0. We already know that. So we'll go back to elimination because we only have two variables. Um... You might know what's going to happen because we just actually did this, right? We multiplied by 2, um, and those x and y's canceled out. So this might be that infinite case. Let me show you. These are the same numbers we just found. And so we got 0 equals 0, right? Same thing we just did. Now that the x is gone, it's just 0 equals 0 rather than x equals 0. So this tells me we have infinite solutions for x, for y and z. So again, we'll just let z equal alpha, and then we'll solve for y in terms of y, uh, z. So I like, it doesn't really matter which equation we use. I'll just use this one. So 2y minus 4z equals 6. So 2y equals 6 plus 4z, and we'll divide by 2. So y equals 3 plus 2z, and we called z alpha, just to make it an arbitrary number. And so we found the solution. So x is 0, so we have 0. y is 3 plus 2 alpha, and z is alpha. So that's my infinite solution. Y and Z have many choices, but X is always zero. So examples of solutions. If alpha is zero, 
0, 3, 0 is a solution. Um, what if alpha is 1, right? x is still 0, y would be 5, and z would be 1. This is a solution. And there's many, many, many more.